As a disclaimer before uh, the start of the stream, I never did finish Pokemon Scarlet. And a lot of people are telling me that it's like, yeah, you get to the end of the game, all the gym leaders have a room that looks the same as each other. Meanwhile, look at an earlier game and it's like, oh, night and day difference. Well, I'll be the judge of that later. Anyway, 3, 2, 1. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B&A stream today on this fine 23rd of September 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week has been pretty all right. You know how it is. It's <laughs> busy. Busy is the thing. Let's dive into today's game, which is uh, some more Mario 64. Let's, uh... Whoop. Mario! It's him, a Mario! There we go. Uh, but yeah, no, um, last stream was uh, the start of me playing Mario 64. We got 43 stars in. Um, and I'm gonna try and... We're gonna try and get another 40. Another 40 today's stream. Um, Mario 64 famously, every time you load a save, one, back down at four lives, and two, back out in this field. This field is a great place to just, like, learn about how to, you know, control the game. I think a lot of people, once you've played the game tons of times, you'll never think about this early area, but when you, like, just, just, yeah, think about it. It's like, it's a place where you can barely get hurt. I say barely. Well, actually, I don't know if you can even, like, find a way to get hurt, because you've got this, uh, moat is, uh... It's filled with water, so there's not really a drop. You got these signs that tell you what's going on. Uh, I promptly ignored it all, uh, but it tells you about the backward somersault. It tells you about this, uh, that jump, the long jump, and the backflip. Tells you about a bunch of the moves that you can do, so that's all nice. Gives you a little bit of a ground to toy around with. Um, uh, who in their right mind would ever get those coins? I don't know. I think they're there for, like, when the water is filled, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Started the game last stream, and, uh, for the people who, uh, didn't watch the last stream, football, please, uh, go back and watch it. But, uh, if you're wondering what the status is, we've done all the first five worlds. Uh, Bobon Battlefield, Wom's Fortress, Jolly Roger Bay, uh, Cool Cool Mountain, and Big Boo's Haunt, as well as also various Castle Secret Stars that you can get. Um, eight of them. I think I talked to a toad and got one uh, from down here. Uh, but we haven't done any of the levels down here, so we're going to do them all in uh, wonderful chronological order. Even though that I can indeed fight Bowser. He finally arrived. He finally arrived. Uh, nah, you must, just missed me right here. Link for a bit of didn't walk anywhere in particular. So, uh, there exist uh, four levels in the basement of uh, this game. Um, uh, you can see uh, this one is number two. Uh, number one is off to the right here, through this door. And uh, we'll just dive right in, into this wonderful bit of water. Water? It's kind of like metal. And uh, we dive right into the Hazy Maze Cave, which is uh, some people's... Mm, I'm going to say it's some people's least favorite level. It was definitely, as a kid, it was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Um, but also, I, I grew up with the DS version, and the DS version, you had a map the whole time on the touchscreen. Um, both ways fraught with danger. Watch your feet. Those who can't do the long jump, tisk tisk. Make your way to the right. So. Uh, but yeah, you can, we are, we are number one, yes. Uh, but you can sort of discern this map once you understand what's going on. So we start off here. There's a bit to the left, which does require a bit of long jump finesse. The signs make it crazy clear that you're meant to do that. That's a very place where the scutterbug jamboree doesn't happen. Uh, so yeah, so if you don't know how to long jump, you're gonna not like going that way. Uh, we can go the long way around this room though. There's a giant hole in the center. Signs everywhere as well, when you think about it. The black hole, right, work elevator, cloudy maze, and the left, the underground lake. Uh, knowing where each star is takes a bit of just know-how and expertise. Uh, there's a lot of fun uh, panangoic uh, secrets discovered in this level. Um, I don't know, I, I think you'll probably get the stars without jumping. Uh, I mean, you know, you can do, you can do it in half an A press if that counts. Uh, we got this wonderful lift here. And then there's a bunch of just little places you can go to, but uh, in particular, I'm going to be a little fancy right off the bat. Uh, we have the star chilling there. Uh, 
I love the, uh, the by the way, the, the remix of the, um, you know, the, the one, uh, two underground theme. The doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Nessie is a little interesting here, but, uh, it's, or actually, Nessie is not his name. Actually, is this Nessie? This is Nessie, isn't it? Um, he moves around a little interestingly, but he sort of just follows where you're looking, so if you sort of point him in the right way, you know where you're going. Try and get him up here. I guess ground found his back, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, He'll duck his head, and then you stand on it, and it'll let you up on the head. There you go. Yeah. Up here. Dory. Dory is the name, okay. Which one's Nessie, or is that just like a fan name? Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you head up into this little door, well, uh, levelception right here, jump through here and you've entered the third and final uh, switch course, uh, where you are metal. Uh, your goal is quite simple. You are metal, you need to uh, activate the uh, switch at the end of the level. But also note there are red coins, and in particular there's a star there. I'm about to get washed up into... C. There you go. Well, maybe I should have activated the thing first because it makes it a little easier. Let's get Sniffets, which do appear in the level. It's not that bad platforming wise. We've got a star here as well. Star? One up. Not a star. Uh, the Metal Mario theme is the best. Yes, it's pretty good. Oh, these are little diamonds as well. Now, a Metal Cast will pop out of all the green blocks you find. Yes. Um. But yeah, that's, uh, for all the backtracking that can exist in the game, once you find the three Switch Palaces, which, there's this one the moment you get into World 6, and, uh, I mean, you can come here as soon as, um, you do, uh, well, as soon as you beat Bowser, basically, the first time. Uh, you can also get that Invisible Cap, which I got at the end of last stream, immediately after Bowser, and you get the Wing Cap after 10 stars. So... You can get all the all the stars you want from that point on. That counter has a castle secret star, uh, but you'll note that the metal cap is available quite frequently in this level, and it's sometimes necessary. You don't really get anything by being metal around here, but you can just walk into enemies, which is a very nice feeling. This one's probably one of the trickier ones to get 100 uh, points on as well, but yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, look at that invincibility. Yeah. Now about three of the stars are this way. And you saw the official name for the Nyon Noshi dinosaur was Dory on the Mario Wiki. But apparently she was also called Nessie at some point. Yeah, yeah, I remember Nessie showed up at one point. I'm not too sure when that happened, but... Anyway, let's get that star that's actually there. Um... Oh yeah, how's everyone's weeks been? Yeah, I feel like I've actually been very productive. I, uh, I absolutely binged the weekend on actually doing retro cheap and dev work. Um, I've been a little, a little lazy, a little bit like putting it off. And then casually I'm like, oh, I'll dedicate to it. And I was on such a roll. Managed to push out, yeah, push out the SingStar set in very, very good time. I had just a good rhythm to it all. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was like a bit of playtesting, I was fairly confident with all three Italian songs. There's five of them. There's five in Italian. Uh, which one's this one? This is Elevate for Eight Red Coins. Oh, we're doing the Eight Red Coins right now? Oh, well, might as well grab the Hundred Coins. I mean, you don't have to do the size of the water, but might as well. Uh, yeah, there's five Italian songs, there's seven in the French one, there's ten in the German one, and there's fifteen in the Spanish one. Uh, in the German one, uh, I think like four of the songs are in English anyways. Yeah, it's a bit of overrepresentation, but uh... I, one thing I found very, very, like, interesting is like... The Spanish version, a couple of the songs are very, like, um, I don't know how to describe it. I'd say, like, Salsa-esque, where it's like they've got that, like, you know, chords one and five kind of chord progression. Um, you know, that kind of going on. And I, I, that got me thinking as well, where it's like, is there a lot of 
international songs, and particularly in non-English speaking European countries, do they particularly use um, chord progressions and maybe instruments that are very, very local to the region, even in um, lots of lots of uh, contemporary popular music? Like, does that show up a ton? Wasn't there a song that was in both the UK? Uh, Living La Vida Loca is, um, is in Spanish on the Spanish version. Uh, and I did count that. That is a, a another achievement if you wanted that. I hate that these blocks, I believe, spit out some coins as well. So if you want all the coins, good luck. Also, yes, this, uh, this platform. Um, but yeah, it... Uh, interestingly, I, when I was doing the, um, the, the titles of the achievements and I needed to, well, uh, I, I just consistent, for consistency, I was like, oh, well, you know, I've used song lyrics from other yeah. songs. Um, looking at Live and La Vida Loca, I'm like, man, the Spanish version isn't at all the same lyrics. It's decently different. Uh, this is perhaps the, one of the roughest eyes to get. Hi, you wanna look at me? Hi, is he looking at me? He doesn't care, what? There you go. It's a bit it's a bit precise. But he does spit out that blue that blue coin, which is very worth it. There's another one over there as well. Let me see if I can actually not no way than that. That's okay. There's still plenty of coins to get, um, but the eight red coins are in this room right here, so that's probably why it's starting to I'd probably say that it's, it's the hundred coins and the red coins that are actually like the real nasty part of this level. Um, certainly the design's a bit more unique and um, no other level ha- uh, no, actually no. I was like, no other level has this music except for Wet Dry World. Quite a lot of levels have this music. Interestingly, you do get some other levels laid, like pretty close to now. Which have their own unique music, like Shifting Sandland that's got its own one, which we'll get to later in the stream. Um, just curious if, like, the. Oh my gosh, another one! Another one! <laughs> Imagine having, like, a domain name that's just, like, a bit of a mouthful, like that one. Oh, that's gonna be. This is gonna be a nasty one again. Alright, come on, man. Let's go for it. Let's try it. What? Nah. Nah, I don't think we can do it. We don't need him. That's okay. Anyway, let's rush over to the, um... To that far side, which I believe you can long jump from here. There you go. It's a different pole to the one we climbed up. Still deciding what your next set? I... Uh, somewhat. Yeah. I know I want to do the Charo Q puzzle um, first before I really dive into something else. Uh, I've had a few that I've definitely wanted to jump into. I'm not sure which one in particular I'll do. Um, not rhythm games. We're not <laughs> they're not rhythm games. I will definitely probably do another Sing Star or whatever, and particularly if no one else is going to do them, but uh, not the next game. We're not, we're not doing it as the next one. Um, I'm hoping someone, uh, really wants to take- Ah, oh, I think someone really wants to do one of the next, uh, Guitar Heroes, because I'm- I'm surprised! Like, I- I hope it's not a, like, just a challenge of working with the game itself, um, for many of these, like, sort of newer PS2 games, because there's other ones, like, um, uh, discounting it right now, just for, just for the note. Uh, but, uh, iToy Play is also one where I'm like, I'm surprised that there's not a lot of iToy games on Retro 2. Is it because, it's probably because of the peripheral. People, like, consider them lesser versions of the games. I mean, yes, but, like, you're not gonna get the 360 version for quite a while on Retro Achievements. The Wii version, maybe, but the Wii version is still a lesser version until you get to Guitar Hero, uh, 5. And the Wii versions of, um, of, uh, all the other games, not World Tour, don't have DLC, so... It's sort of like, well... For World, for World Tour, you are missing the DLC, but, like, 
for the rest. Of... Well, it's, it's kind of functionally the same game on the Wii. I, I I'm pretty sure they don't. Guitar Metallica, uh, Smash Hits, and oh, this bat by the way. Um, and uh, Van Halen all do not have DLC on the Wii though. Probably could have just jumped us. The star's in the middle, so that's nice and convenient. This is probably the riskiest, like, doing the, doing the red coins first. Uh, oh, that is true, yes. Yeah. The Wii version of World Tour doesn't have all the DLC songs. It has a strict, like, limit around, like, the songs can only be, like, six minutes or something. And it never had, um, uh, like, song pack DLCs. They were always sold individually. I don't suppose the Monty Mole here gives you coins, he just constantly dies, yeah. Uh, this is the Toxic Fog Maze, which, uh, uh, once you got the, um, well, that's a, do that's a door that leads out, but, uh, yeah, if you stand in the fog for a little too long, you take a hit, which is okay, because it goes down pretty slowly and we're grabbing coins anyways. And you can get the metal cap if you really want to, which we might as well do right now. Why not? Or it's a rock is a real game changer. Uh, well, because it's not on the PS2. Yeah, those those blue coins are definitely the uh, the big thing you want to get when you're trying to do your, your 100 coin run. It's the best GH game in general. I'm still a 5 fan. I like 5 a lot. War as a Rock has a bunch of like real killer songs, but it's also got like some real like, just like, man, this is, this is, uh, table scraps of the, um, of the artists. Like they're like, ah, oh, you know, we got a Metallica song and it's like the, the, cover of Paranoid they did at, um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in, like, 2009. <laughs> it's like, man, that's, uh... That's what I mean. Five is, yeah, five, five is stellar, and people sleep on it a little bit. Uh, by the way, there's two doors that lead out here. I'm hoping I'm going out the right one. One of them leads just to a star, and one of them leads almost to a star. Hi. Hi, Bat. I would like to kick you for your coin. Okay. Oh, now he's back. Got him. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's always weird when you, they do the artist game and it's like, well, you've already done a song of theirs. So Van Halen just having to have another version of Hot for Teacher because that'd be a bit sacrilege if you didn't have it. Uh, yeah, okay, there's five coins there, but I also think these are the riskiest coins to get in the entire game. I actually do- okay, you know what? I'm really, really skeptic about falling here at 92 coins, so I'm just gonna, you know, take it chill. And then take a hit there anyways. But we'll exit the maze, and then we'll just get some, like, normal coins. Coins, yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of those games still to go, of course. Um, nah, I, I seem to kill them like five times and just kept spawning out of a new spot, so. I think there's some coins just here. I don't know. Must be thinking somewhere else. Alright, let's not grab that for the moment. <laughs> that would have been a bit rough instinctually. Instinctually? Instinctively. Yeah, this is it's also all the Bumani. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, there's lots of other games on the on the um the PS2. Like that's such a you know a massive catalog to get through. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can get this bat. Okay, never mind. We're not getting the bat. All right. No. If you're doing the, um, the, the retro achievements for the, um, getting all the coins, this is, like, the worst thing known to man. 
these, these ones here. Um, actually, it's not even the worst one, but oh, the worst um, getting all the coins achievement, but... Yeah. But there, there's plenty of coins if you're just, you know, a normal person and goes for 100 coins. Anyway, let's get that red coin star and uh, start doing this, uh, the rest of this world a bit more normally and watch for rolling rocks. I always hate coming back for this jump. It just feels a little awkward. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's tons of games to do, so uh, I'll figure out which one I, I want to do next. But uh, I like. I do primarily play. I wanted to dev some things, so that's why I've gone to developing, but legit, some devs do not play, and they pump out tons of sets, and that's completely their prerogative. And I'm like, I want to play a lot of stuff, and I want to dev some extra ones just to, like, you know, really help out a little bit and uh, make sure that, um, you know, because I feel like some of the ones, like, I'm surprised that Guitar Hero World Tour didn't get devved like, before I took it on, and I think the easy answer is, well, there's two easy answers. One is, um, it has a bit of a complex, uh, like, shop system, and I can completely get some people really wanting to, like, develop the, the shop stuff and all this extra stuff. It's hard to analyze and understand. Like, I think some, did someone do SingStar as well? I think someone did try SingStar. Yeah, someone did try SingStar before I came along. So it's just, like, Actually, most of my sets. <laughs> Someone had done some notes before I went in. Um, each drop in the bucket contributes. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what it's all for. So, uh, this is the Metalhead Mario Can Move, which is a, um, a famous achievement. Grab the metal cap here, and you want to move. There's a switch, sort of, over on the, the left there. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of a path in the water. There you go. Anyways, if you're standing underwater as Metal Mario, you can step on the switch. I, I mean, it's a bit of perseverance and it's a bit of just like... Nice. That is a death, by the way. That's, <laughs> that's a proper... Bit of a rip. Ah, we'll give it another go. This is, this is around the point where you start getting some pits in your levels, and you're like, oh no. And not every level has pits, like, Wet Dry World is, like, fairly straightforward. I find that's actually one of the easier ones. Yeah, I got the Red Coin Star, don't worry. <laughs> we, got, we got the 100 and the Red Coin Star, so it's just the, the more straightforward ones where you just go somewhere and you grab the, grab the star. I'm trying to think off the top of my head which ones are left, other than obviously the one that I keep walking past every single time I go in this direction. <laughs> I think it's that one, it's the um, the maze exit, and uh, the, the monkey bars. It's a fun, interesting level though, and I think as well, like, Every Nintendo 64 kind of collectathon, and even lots of other kinds of Nintendo 64 games, just felt like this is a bit hallmark level design. Lots and lots of those games have these more claustrophobic interior locations because I, I think partially due to Mario 64's like fairly smooth way of pulling that off. You know, like when you think about it, every other level has either been like a you know the one underwater level or levels that are fairly open, um, even if, like, bob -on Battlefield is surrounded by hills, you know, it's very large and, and wide and open, and this one is, uh, you know, tight and claustrophobic. And not a lot of the levels in Mario 64 do that. Um, shout out to everyone's favorite claustrophobic game, uh, Superman 64. I think that's the other fun part as well, like, Mario 64 hides the fact that the draw distance is... Well, I mean, the draw distance is fairly large. And that's what helps its appeal, whereas, like, there's so many other games where it's like, they do not... They do not render that much on screen, it, it throws you off, so... Um... So, okay, so there's two stars here. 
Uh, that, not the one that, uh, is the star I've chosen. I hate this, uh, this bit here. Okay, we'll just do a backflip and then not die. There you go. We didn't die. It's all good. But yeah, there's two doors. It's like, ah. It's like almost the same star, twice. Almost, but not quite. And yeah, that's that's that star on the other side of this uh this fence. This grating, if you will. I got two more stars to go in here, so let's dive right in and uh take a crack at the next one. Amazing emergency exit. So back in the same direction again. Let's punch the fence easy. Uh, so I had written down two topics, um, one is, uh, oh my gosh, why does Sony and PlayStation keep appearing in, in my top stories? Like, I don't know, I don't know what's up with this, but, uh, I didn't even realize that, uh, they were doing a, uh, a PC port of, uh, God of War Ragnarok, and, uh, this made me go, huh, like, I remember a statement or a, or a press, uh, statement or something from uh, the PlayStation CEO saying, hey, you know, we're uh, enticing PC players to go and buy a PlayStation by putting the first of various franchises onto PC and then only put the sequels on the PlayStation. So I would have thought God of War Ragnarok. Um, I mean, it's been out... It, what, was it last year? I think it was actually only last year. I think it was last year, actually, yeah. That it came out on PS5, and, uh, for reference, I'm holding A. There's not a lot of monkey bar sections in the game, and you gotta be a little precise because you can just wander off. That's not that bad. Here we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not gonna go back for, like, old franchises, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, for reference, they're telling you as well that, um, with 50 power stars, you can enter the final door before fighting Bowser for the last time, which is at 70 stars. Um, so in theory, if I... Uh, Bowser is all three boss fights, by the way. Uh, but in theory, if I go and unlock, uh, beat Bowser the second time, I can go and play any of the levels now. Ah... I, I, I would like it to come to PC, but I also completely do not expect it to come to PC. Uh, at least for the initial part. This is, um, Watch for Rolling Rocks, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's one of the quickest stars to get. It's certainly very quick. And, oh yeah, Final Fantasy 16 as well. So that's two PS5 games in one fell swoop. Astro Bot is basically the only one, and the Final Fantasy 7... That's all the stars, by the way. We're done with this world. Uh, and the Final Fantasy 7, um, Part 2. That's not there yet, but given that part one is there, it's like, yeah, okay. The devs have mentioned that there's an interest in a PC version. I would 100% love to shout out uh, a PC version. Um, it'd be very interesting, I guess, for PlayStation to, to go, don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's a one-on-one -on -one with a fiery finish for the loser. Uh, everything is lava, by the way. Can you tell? It's lethal lava land. If you catch fire or fall into a pool of flames, you'll be hopping mad, but don't lose your cool. If you still control Mario, just try to keep calm. That's important to note. Some people just actually panic. Um, Stella Blade. Oh, yeah, yeah. So these are bully enemies, which are everyone's favorite new enemy in this game. You can punch them or jump into them. And I'll fall over and, and uh, cop it a bit. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can get around to the far side of the level. Um, I mean, I remember Stellar Blade. I do not remember Rise of Ronin. Like, that that one did not go up on my newsfeed at all. And that's not to say that the game is bad or anything, but it's just, I, I don't follow particularly PlayStation news. It's just the context of, oh, things are coming to PC. Can we get this big bully? Whoop. There we go. Get the big bully and the star comes out. Those are like donut platforms. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, God of War Ragnarok came out and uh, this exclusive remake of the remake of the first Neptunia game. 
that's a PS5 exclusive? Wow. So not Hyper Dimension Neptunia, not that one, because that's the remake. But as a remake of that one. Neptunia Reverse. Greetings, Blub. How's it going? Oh. The lava is very deadly. But well, there's tons of coins in this level, so it's not too, not too bad. Oh, that was a bit of a jump. There's lots of little ledges all over. Uh, but yeah, move over to this place with uh, three bullies, three little bullies. And uh, you just gotta you know, murder them all. Uh, if you're doing the uh, all coins achievements on retro achievements, just know uh, the bully coins are the worst. Phone call with your sister. Hey, that's all good. Family first. Other oh, runs are going pretty good so far. I'm smoothly getting these ones. Lethal Lava Land is actually my jam. Uh, so that's all good. I did spend a bit of time in Hazy Maze Cave, so I feel like it may be a little longer than two hours of stream, but uh, that's all fine. We'll see how we go. We're already 30 minutes in. Uh, the power... Oh no, I haven't commented on the power world. That, that hasn't come up yet. So, uh, we're currently just mentioning PlayStation and uh, the God of War Ragnarok and also Final Fantasy 16. Um, there's two things I would like to note with uh, God of War Ragnarok. Um, one is, yeah, like... PC games casually coming to, like, sorry, uh, PS5 games casually coming to PC after they said they would probably only do the, the regular games and not the sequels. And then it's like, oh, here's, here's one. And then two, uh, yeah, true, the Demon Soul remake. Um, I know it's not a PS5 exclusive, but uh, everyone still would like uh, Red Dead 1, which got a PS4 and a Switch version in the past, like, yeah, which is just a bit of an interesting one, but uh, sure. Um, but uh, yeah, the other thing of note is it has a PlayStation Network requirement, which we've all gone through the rigmarole. A lot of people, and especially the, the Helldivers people, are uh, very upset about this. See, one coin just flew out into nowhere. Um, uh, Red Dead 2. Oh, Red Dead... Oh, so Red Dead Redemption 1. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh a bit tight. Ah, we can recover. We can recover. Alright, back on the bully ledge. True, yeah. That's, that, to some degree as well, like, I, I know it's got Red Dead in the name, but it's also, like, people who like Crisis, but haven't played the first Far Cry. There's a, sometimes, like, there's that. Um, there's another one which is, like, a good spiritual sequel. Um, I'm trying to recall off the top of my head, but, like, that's one. Uh, I'm gonna play Earth Defense Force, uh, 2025 so bad. One day, one day. One, two, and two, two. Oh, exactly. I also one day I'll get to that, but I am playing through a, um, uh, through a fantasy star. So that's my RPG of the of the now. This one's a very interesting one to time, but the box will spit out like five coins. So with a bit of finesse, that's some nice coins there. And if you're good, you can long jump from here over to the to the ice spot. Never touched it again. Oops. I feel like this should be easier to jump to on the way back. There you go. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get to that platform. Oh, the platform is not near me right now. It's never too late to play the games that you always want to play. Uh, true, yeah, Spider-Man 2 for the moment. Um, but yeah, the, the, the PlayStation Network is, like, the requirement. Um, we've been through this for the Helldivers discussion, which is, like, it's... Oh, oh. Yeah, like, it's a bit crummy for all the people who are in countries that do not support it. 
Um, and especially for a PC, sorry, for a single player game, because it's just like, what's the point? Well, like, what, what do you get? And the easy point is uh, it, it, the cheating metrics. They're basically showing investors, oh, look at how many people love PlayStation and once it. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, how many people love PlayStation and uh, want to play using their PlayStation Network account? And it's like, it's, they're being held at like ransom to like use that. Um, I'm not saying that like other, you know, uh, account systems aren't the same as that, because, you know, potentially the PlayStation Network account doesn't actually really mean much more. Maybe. Maybe. Grain of salt, because, uh, 100%, um, that's a bit of analytics tracking as well with it. Um, there is a, uh, a patch. Someone has made a patch that does exactly what it should, which is not need it. Uh, there exists a Koopa shell somewhere, and I've completely forgotten where it was. Is it even in the star? Should be. Because you can see the coins on the lava there. Uh, there's a warp in here, which is a bit interesting. Oh, it's got a wing cap. That's good enough. <laughs> it's a bit of an interesting level to wing cap around, but I like it. It's fun. And yeah, with the wing cap as well, you just triple jump on the spot. It's such a great feeling. First time, I never actually played Mario 64 except maybe the first 20 stars in the DS version. You'll definitely notice, like, a lot of differences, like the lack of Yoshi, uh, and also some of the other fancier kind of secret areas, like there's one, um, that has, like, the Delfino, like, uh, plaza music in the, um, you, you, you know the one, it's sort of off to the side in the, uh, where the secret slide is. I thought I knew that where the, um, where the Koopa shell was. I think there's a bunch of coins on this ramp here. There you go. Gotta be a little careful. Very fond memories. No points here. I know one other place that has coins. Oops. <laughs> it's the lava! Uh, it's the center part. I'll try and duck around to it. Might as well just warp here, then I can get a hat as well. Oh, going to the paintings is such... Yeah, you're right. It is such a magical feeling. I love it. I don't think there's anything quite like it as well. Uh, did I get the coins that spat out of this volcano when the thing stopped? I think I did. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Alright, well, we'll just go into the volcano. There's, a, there's more stars in the volcano and some more coins. I thought I could get enough coins on the outside. I'm spoiling, I'm going to the volcano, I'm sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out where there were more coins on the, um, overworld. I know I can't get out, but I can just get another star that's in here. There's two stars in this volcano, uh, depending on which way you go up. Watch out for this wall just comes out at you. Good meme. I was also at 99 coins, I couldn't goof it up that hard. Uh, some of these jumps are very intriguing, I'll tell you that. Um... Yeah, oh, the 3D is great as well, and I think I'm right at that, like, cusp age where it's, like, 3D, you know, is the norm for me. I hate this jump, by the way, this one, because it's just, like, <laughs> no phase in the right way. It's just, like, oh, oh. Yeah, the red coins are easy, yeah. Uh, 
yeah, there's like there were tons of 2D games when I was growing up, but like when you could have a game do like cool 3D, I was like, so good. Hey, soon, soon, yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna like just oh, we're gonna just speedy boy because why walk around when you could just jump? Uh, this is also easy stars if you're doing your speed runs. Whoops. But, uh, yeah, no, PlayStation Network account kind of sucks there. Um, also, uh, some people are noting that the, there's, like, some insane forked process run times. I'm not saying, I don't think it's, like, oh, I can't run at all, but it does look kind of inefficient. It's like, why is it running run time separately? Uh, this one's a fun one because, uh, it's possible to cheese this one real hard. There's a, I mean, oops. Well, not, not when I, not when I take a hit. That's the one, the one way you can't, you can't do it. Let me grab some, some coins and then I'll show you exactly what I mean. Alright, so here's the strat. Um, you get over to about here, and you're meant to take this platform to then, like, do a bit of log rolling over there. But if you're good... Oops. I was gonna say, if you're good, you can you can <laughs> hit the log right there. Um, but yeah, I I I do hate the need for extra accounts, especially for online for offline play, for single player play, because it's like it's it's purely there to drive like silly metrics, and like someone will go, oh, but like what's the harm? It's like well, the harm is like it's data tracking. It's needless for you as a consumer. You gain nothing by having one of these accounts. But they gain tons of stuff, they gain insights, and they use that to sell for a best of money and all that. It's like, I have an epic account you only need for one play though. Whoops. Whoops. There you go, I didn't panic. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Um, yeah, I, uh, I feel the same about like lots of games as well, where it's like, I have these accounts, it's like, oh, why do I need like an account for this? There's a lot of ones where it's like, Sometimes they just use your Steam. And, like, hey, you know, if I buy the game on Steam, you can integrate with Steamworks, and I don't have to think about making a new account, because you've just secretly done it in the game. Here we go. Yeah, it should- Online accounts should be 100% optional when the game's offline. Like, you should 100% be allowed to just, like, play a game Ooh. offline. If you count on the exclusives on the Wikipedia for PS5. Um, are you sure there's 12? I feel like there's not as many as that, even. Uh, is this... Yeah, this is the last star as well. Um... I thought the VR games were part of the 12. Because I, I know there's, um... Was it Demolition All-Stars? That was... That's one of the ones. Um... We're counting both Astro Bot and Astro's Playroom as separate title. Well, Astro's Playroom is, like, just bundled with the system. Yeah, Destruction All Stars was one. Demon Souls, which uh, arguably as well, it's just a remake of the 3D one. Not, yeah, it's not VR. Um, you mentioned Stellar Blade and uh, the Ronin one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like the 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 PSN requirement. And uh, given that people went through a whole fight for Hell Divers, um, it's just you know a bit of a shame that it's like ah, Sony's just. Not cared. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll take another crack at it. Darn chessboard platform. Uh, but yeah. So, uh... <laughs> I don't know, I'll, 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 I'll talk about Power World. Uh, Power World is a game. It came out at the beginning of the year, I believe. Um, but uh, Astro's, Astro's Bar, Astro's Playroom, Demon Souls Remake, Destruction All Stars, FF7R2, Neptunia, Reverse Quantum Era, uh, R-Type, Final 3 Evolved. I'm assuming there's multiple titles in here. Rise of Rome, Silent Hill. Silent Hill's not out yet, though. I know it's like next month, but it's not out yet. <laughs> Doesn't count yet. Uh, Spider-Man 2 Celebrate. 
Wait, that's a different silent hit. Oh, oh, yeah, the one, the one where she just like spoilers. The only thing I know about it is that she just logs off at the end. Someone spoil, spoil the game. She logs off at the end, and all her demons go away. <laughs> uh, this is a painting, by the way. This is Shifting Sandland. This is level eight. Shifting Sandland is a good fun level. I enjoy it a ton. Uh, even if it does have the same music. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can get around to, uh, that bird. I love this method. We use the box. And you kind of blast over this wall, and now you've sort of skipped going about the level the normal way. We'll look around it for 100 coins. Uh, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta kick this bird in the face. Um, this bird's name is called Klepto. What a wonderful name. There you go. Yeah, I... There's this... Someone on my timeline made a, like, a very, very good point. And I think I've probably mentioned it quite a bunch of times, but it's like... Game devs... I did it, Oh, because I'm good! I'm good at this! I've kicked this bird enough times. Uh, this one is Shining Atop the Pyramid, which uh, involves standing on these uh, pedestals. Let's go about them all the way now. Uh, our type Final 3 Evolved is actually just one game. I was wondering where the commas were. Um, if you got the wing cap as well, you can sort of speed up this process a bit. I'm glad R-Type still gets games though, but like, PS5 exclusive. Uh, cause there's also a lot of games where it's like, they still, like... I was checking up a Sonic the Hedgehog games. Every single Sonic the Hedgehog game is also on PS4. Like, I know Sonic Frontiers is like, well it's on Switch, so why can it not run on PS4? Oops, this is dead. This is dead platform. This is dead sand right there. That shy guy, just, or a fly guy rather, he decided to chill. Final 3, but it's basically Final 2 with extra stuff. I I do not follow our type releases, so I didn't, I didn't even know like which ones were which, but uh, that's intriguing that there's a PS5 exclusive one there. Um, so yeah, Power World's a game. It's a game that uh, was heavily... Um, I guess kind of touted as like Pokemon with guns. It's the uh, the way they went about it, and I think by constantly saying it's Pokemon, like even you know, <laughs> blame the journalists a little bit, but I would I wouldn't blame them exclusively. I think everyone made that comparison. It's got monsters, and uh, it kind of shares. Not done it twice. We've done it twice. I'm jumping off this pillar. I don't like this pillar. The first R-Type final actually came out 20... Oh, so it's just a, it's just a PS2 game. It's like Demon's Souls. It's like, oh, is it really a PS5 game if it's just point for point recreating an older game? Uh, in terms of our figures, yes, but in terms of, like, would people rush out to get them? Final 2 is a full sequel. Man, I, I do not know my shmups. I do not know my shmup, my shmups. Alright, we're getting off this plane. The song game in 3D where you have to run from the giant truck with the camera facing backwards. Sonic Adventure 2 is very, very good fun. If you st stood atop, oh. oh wait, we're shining atop the pillar. We're not, we're not standing on the. Sorry, we're not standing on the pillars. Sorry. Uh, this one is there's a star at the top of the pyramid, here. which again, it's easy when you're flying. <laughs> Whoops, wrong star, <laughs> wrong star. We're, we're not standing on the pillars just yet. Uh, inside the ancient pyramid. Uh, now, there's a couple of stars you can... Oh, sorry. The, yeah, inside the pyramid actually has, like, three of the stars, which I think is quite surprising. Um, but, uh, like, uh, uh, Lethal Lava Land, you do have an interior section to this level, which is the pyramid, and you cannot leave once you're in it, so... Um, try to get as many coins as you can outside. It'll make your life a lot easier. Uh, from the fact that we have... Uh, to count two slightly better versions as exclusives. Oh yeah, exactly. And Astro's Playroom is a is a bundle, and that's like saying Wii Sports is a, you know, like oh it's such a killer Wii title. It's like oh I mean kind of but like it's Wii Sports. 
Good old Pokey, who's just sprites in this game. He's properly modelled. Anything that's just sprites is properly modelled in the DS version. Oh. oh, I got it. I got the coin anyways. Okay. Oh wait, the red coins are out here. Aren't they? Yeah. I might have to do the, the red coins twice. Let's see how we go. Oh, that one's just painful. Yeah, that's just painful. Okay. Completely butchered that box. Ah, yep, very butchered. Uh, so yeah, Power World's a game. Advertise a lot as, like, Pokemon with guns. Uh, Pokemon Company clearly is going to take uh, word of that. And uh, they did at some point. They, in May, they sort of said, hey, we're, you know, we're going to address this at some point. But, I don't know, I think a lot of people, you know, once you play Power World, you go, well, it's not really a Pokemon clone, it's a game that involves a monster capture mechanic, and you do use a spherical object called a Power Sphere to capture them, but, uh, it's, from my understanding, it's more like a open world survival game, you know, like you got your crafting mechanics and things like that. Uh, they're suing Pocket Pair for patents, the patents that did not, uh, get filed until... May of 2024 and approved in August of 2024. Uh, the uh, particular patent being the spherical capturing object, which I feel like is one where we could probably cite maybe other games that sort of have uh, spherical monster catching mechanics. Maybe not spheres. But honestly, like, can't they just like change the item? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because uh, there's lots of games that have monster catching mechanics. The most noteworthy one is literally the one Pokemon is directly inspired by Dragon Quest V and its subsequent uh, uh, franchise, Dragon Quest Monsters, which had a recent, uh, I think it was on the Switch, but uh, it recently got released onto uh, Steam. So you can grab that, like last week released. Um, is that breaking news? The the sphere one. Um, I think I think it was. I, I saw it around. I haven't yet like fully confirmed what like the pattern actually is. But I just saw like oh you know like it's the sphere. It's the the they're going specifically after the capture object, the sphere. Um, oh, uh, it's the third game in the series. Uh, Last week it was still vague. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was vague. Last week. Like, people... Because... I mean, they said they were going after them. No one's got any idea what they're going after. And now it's like... Well, now we can speculate it's that. I'm gonna want this... Uh, the bomb to... I'm about to lose my hat. Klepto will steal your hat. It's not fun. When he does. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Oh, it's coming. Oh lordy, he coming. Wow, he is strafing. Strafing hard there. Getting caught in the sand. This one's probably one of the trickier ones to get a... Uh, 100 coins on as well, because you do have... Like, quite a bunch of insta-death parts. Once you're in the pyramid, it's actually a lot smoother. I would like that one coin without getting sucked up into forever. Thank you. We got it. We're good. We're good. We got it. We're good. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, no, I, I agree that, like, I mean, one. Suing others, it's like, well, it has to be a, a very, like, clear violation in order for the public to really, like, be accepting of it. The, I think I think we can all completely agree when it's like, oh, you know, there's some things... That mm, couldn't jump because I was going backwards. Oh. Oh. Shifting Sandland has got me being like... 
We're, go we're going turbo quick this time. We're going we're gonna expedite. 50, yeah, that, it, it's brutal as well because it's like, a good, oh, 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 okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Nintendo has never abused their power to apply undeserved legal action to others. Um, I always think it's curious. I, I remember someone saying, doesn't Nintendo go after like mods and things like that? And I think for the most part, Nintendo, and, and granted, the Pokemon company, for disclaimer, the Pokemon company is not quite Nintendo. Uh, people always mistake the two because Nintendo owns, uh, or at least used to own a third of the Pokemon company. I don't know if they own more of them now, but um, yeah, it, it's, it's like, uh, best I can say is uh, cut from the same cloth. They like each other a lot. They're going to behave quite similarly. That's okay. That's fine. Um, but certainly, uh, both of them have the tendency to go after, you know, things to protect their intellectual property quite a bunch. Uh, the classic one is, yeah, modders and fan projects and things like that. So, uh, if you remember Pokemon Uranium, um, or uh, AM2R, and I know Pokemon Uranium is like, well, that's the Pokemon company. It's the same, the same thing. But those are, those were cease and desist. So I don't believe there was actually any cost or damages they had to pay for that. I could be mistaken, someone can correct me if that's the case. Um, but I believe that was like a, we will sue you if you keep doing this. But we've let you know, and that means you know to stop. And uh, they did. All of uh, those projects did. So they never continued on. Um, other ones like uh, the the particularly recent like Yuzu emulator um, spiel, uh, which I hate that legally they are actually in the clear on the sorry uh, sorry not in the clear legally they are like suspect yeah Citra didn't deserve it yeah exactly um, I really don't need a shell on this I'll tell you. Um, yeah, Citra didn't really deserve to die. There's lots of these projects where it's like, the the way that, like, they got them, or rather, yeah, yeah, no, the way they got them, because they were like, hey, you know, we are suing you, here's a, you know, try to settle with us if you can. Um, so that's why, like, Yuzu had to spend, like, two million dollars in settlement fees, which is insane, but also, they had two million dollars, which... The, the differentiating factor here is that, uh, like, some of the some of these uh, you know teams had um, you know large amounts of revenue from the Patreon and other kinds of things, donations, other kinds of stuff. Um, Nintendo is clearly going to go after like teams and things like that that have the money. 100% they're going to go after the ones that legitimately are making a crazy profit off of their property. Unless we have Encore. Yeah, I mean, this is why emulators need to be open source. Well, this is a piracy topic, but like, this is why emulators need to be open source because, like, if you, you can't kill an open source project, you can cut a head off and more will grow and take its place, and people passionate to the project will still be passionate to the project. For the most part. Uh, Nintendo will try their best to, uh, to strike it down as much as they can. Uh, but, you know, cat's out of the bag. It's like, um, the, the llama, uh, language model. It was like, yeah, this is only available to researchers. And then how come everyone has the large language model? Now, officially out, by the way, Invisible. Good old Bizzle. Now, I also do think that, like, there is a little bit of a... Not, it's not a legal area, but a moral area when it comes to um, emulators for systems that are alive right now. Uh, because 100%, like, you know... Would, would, yeah, Citra and Yuzu were open source. So, yeah, yeah. They did go after forks of them for a bit. But you can't go after forks of, you know, emulators forever. Hopefully. Don't. Take that, bird brain. Um, oh. Yeah, the 3DS is mega dead, uh, the Wii U is, is fairly dead, um, Dolphin, when it was new, I was a little cautious of, because the Wii was still, uh, being around a bit, but, uh, but yeah, nah, like, oh, we're good, we're good, I didn't stack it this time, um, I, I definitely feel that, like, you know, 
doing it while the system is currently live is definitely like, hey, there's people who are going to pirate it just to play a brand new game. And, like, I completely, <laughs> from a moral reason, I don't like playing emulators just to play, like, systems that are right now. It's like, hey, that company's, like, putting in the, you know, the time and effort to make this stuff. Yesterday was its 21st an anniversary. Happy birthday, Mr. Dolphin. Dolphin's had such a lot of, like, care and, and effort put into it as well. There's lots of other emulators where it's, like, the developers of the emulator. Not, not to knock the developers but uh, of other projects, but it's, like, sometimes it's, like, they do not design that for uh, humans. That is, that is meant for, uh, like, people who are developers. They know what they're up for. Um, a classic one is, uh, um... Manathan or Beetle. I'm like, dude, Beetle is like such a, such a, um, like, <laughs> a very, very curious one, uh, user interface wise. It's powerful. Very powerful. I like how this one's points are just all in a stack there. It's very nice. Uh, inside the pyramid has a bunch of coins, so I'm confident we can get 100 points here. But I do need to get red coins again. Fast runs. Fast runs, yeah. Um,. And yeah, good old Dolphin and PPSSPP sharing the same author. Um, but they both come from the same kind of, you know, labor of love. In fact, a lot of emulators do, so that's all good. Um, will Nintendo be, or will, will uh, Pokemon Company be successful? Bizhawk is the premier emulator for TAS runs, I believe. I should try out, like, just making a TAS, just so I know what's, you know, like, what's on, what's about. Like, I know what it is, but it's just... I want to be able to do one. Remember when Dolphin was on the scene for like two seconds? It's kind of weird as well, because like, Retro Arch slash Retro Arch. Should I be saying Arch? I gotta correct myself now. I'm, I'm self-conscious about it. Um... You can earn achievements on it now. Standalone PPSSPP? Yeah. Should be enough coins in this uh, area. Like you've got like eight here, plenty up here. And yeah, Hazy Maze Cave music again. Nice. <laughs> I like this inside the pyramid section as well. It's actually quite neat, and I I love that like. These levels, having these secondary sections, uh, really does give a bit of, like, more depth to the levels than previously was there. Oh, that is, uh, I'm not right chasing after that one. Lots of monkey bars. Um, but yeah, no, I, I feel like there's a lot of, like, wonderful depth to these levels by having this. Not to say we haven't seen, like, secondary areas already, um, uh, although I think the only one has been, uh, Cool Cool Mountain, but the, uh, slide section. But a bunch of the other levels will have parts like this, so... Here we go! So that's eight levels with the hundred points done, so... That's all good. I love this guy. This, this guy, this guy has a name as well, but he only appears here. In this one level. PPSSPP in the... yeah, through the ad feature. Although, I believe, uh, PPSSPP is a retro arc slash arch core on the Steam version, is it not? I think it is. Yeah, I, I mean, that's a... Ste Steam's a, a, a cool, cool bean for letting you use your, your external controllers like that, and Steam's very cool. Oh my gosh, wow. There we go. Cut there in the end. I love this guy. Yeah, I've played some things through it, but, hey, you know, standalone versions will always be superior. Um, so I love that there's a star up here, and there's a little star right next to it. Uh, not this, like, little cage at the top as well. Um, but yeah. So will Pokemon Company succeed with suing Power World? Um, I'm concerned 
because usually Japanese lawyers are very, very precise. They get exactly what they're going after, and I'm... I'm not optimistic. But, I think Power World certainly should have a good case to survive as a game. I think maybe if they need to change the sphere capturing into, like, an isosahedron, okay, sure. Hopefully. Um, but, yeah, like, I 100% Power World, I'm not saying they deserve it, but they certainly are a prime candidate for someone Pokemon Company would go after. And so I'm not surprised that it's, you know, gotten to this stage. But I'd also say, I, you know, I don't know if it's copyright infringement to have, you know, a game with monsters that you capture and you get them to work slave factory camps. Now this is the other thing I love, so we're inside the pyramid again, after standing on the, the columns. And as you ride it down... Urgh. There's this little, uh, little ledge here, which you can crawl into. It's not really a great way to jump into it otherwise. But come in here, oh my gosh, it's another little mini-boss. We've, we've, hold on, it's not a mini-boss. Now it's a mini-boss. <laughs> It's been a while. Who walk here? Who breaks seal? Wake ancient ones. We know like light. Rumble. We know like intruders. Now battle hand to hand. So I rock is a boss. You punch him in the eye and then he gets very angry. One hand is looking at you and the other one's trying to attack you. Just, just keep ducking over. Each hand takes three hits. And then it explodes. And then uh, it's gonna be a little fancy over here. Don't wanna get knocked off. Um, what happened? We crushed like pebble. You so strong, you rule ancient pyramid for today. Now take star of power. We sleep in darkness. Reminded to the later renditions of this boss and... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've already expressed my uh, my love-hate relationship with Boulder Geist, but he's good fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else we got? Okay, so eight red coins, and then there's the, the secret in the pyramid. Uh, but now let's actually do the eight red coins, instead of just picking them up and then going straight for the pyramid. Uh, but yeah, I, it was a, it was a, um, yeah, it's always good to update your, your emulators if you're using, um, say, retro achievements, because there may be some extra fancy retro achievements features which need to be supported via newer emulator versions as well. Uh, was during either an SMG1 or 2? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was probably, I mean, it, SMG1, that uh, was like ages ago. And SMG2 was one age less than ages ago. I mean, yeah, I, th I think you were probably there in 2022, so I'm glad you've been along for the ride. I always like, as well, like, like, even, even way back when, just like, uh, never really had the channel like go viral if that makes sense like there's some other youtubers where it's just like there's stuff like crazy takes off they're just like yep that's uh that's their content they they are hard stuck into doing this kind of content now um i've been a little bit uh unfortunate i haven't been bound to that we met on the first of july it wasn't the first of july <laughs> gonna do the entire- oh. So, uh, yeah, Klepto can steal your hat, and then it's the absolute worst thing, because you can leave the level and not get your hat back. But just remember, he's in this level. He's in this level. You- you know. He's- he's the- he's there. Go get him. Uh, what happens when you don't have your hat? Uh, you take one more hit. One more little- little chunk of health for every time you get hit. It'll get annoying. 
probably confused a ton of kids back in the day. They're like, why, why, why am I just losing my hat? Why am I taking so much damage? Because also, I believe you can't use um, wing caps and things like that, right? How many stars am I at? Coins? Oh, I forgot the one at the beginning. The hat gives strength. Exactly. It keeps you fortitude. And then Mario Odyssey is kind of like, oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly that. Mario 64 is just like the Dark Souls of 3D platformers. Uh, so the last topic I have uh, for the stream, it's not even gaming, but it's something I'm interested in. And that's uh, Formula One. I survived half, half as many. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Uh, Formula One, it's, it's been a thing. It's been uh, uh, like a bit of a roller coaster of a season, but we still also have... Um, Oh, very nice. Very nice watching as a kid. I used to, I didn't, I had a mate, um, in my maths class, uh, who unfortunately doesn't talk to me anymore. Um, but, uh, it's wonderful as well. And, oh wait, I was like, we finished the world with 64 seconds. We still got one more. Uh, oh, because German, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you have to when Michael Schumacher's around. That's absolute icon. Absolute legend. Um... But yeah, like, this year's been kind of interesting because last year was just, you know, max, 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 super max, like, no one else won a race. Well, by not no one else, but like, uh, Sergio Perez won two races, uh, Carlos Sainz won one, and Max won 20. So it's kind of like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, but this year's been fairly different. Max hasn't won a race in, like, eight races, and he's only won six or seven? I think it's seven. He's won seven so far. Um... Could you not? When he left it, the German Formula 1 casting in a crisis. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, it, it's it's interesting how much, like, a country's interest does really depend on, you know, just the people in it. Um, even if it's like, well, it's still kind of more of the same Formula 1. And there are, there was also Sebastian Vettel. Like, you had another great German driver follow up. Unfortunately, there's not as much now. Maybe Nico Hülkenberg, he's, he's pretty right, but... Yeah, it, Italy's big, but granted, like, you got the... Oh my gosh, I, I do hate this. I'm gonna go up the other side, because there's an actual ledge there. Um... Oh, it, Italy... Italy is, uh... You know, they go nuts over the Ferrari, I'll tell you that. I mean, the Italian Grand Prix earlier was like, oh... Like, Charles Leclerc winning, you know, the two races he sort of needed to win, which was his home race in Monaco, and, uh, the team's race in, uh, in Monza. Very, very, you know, powerful stuff, so good on him for, for getting that. Uh, Lando Norris winning his first race, and then, um, you know, really cementing it with some other wins as well. He's up to three now. Oscar Piastri with the first win that I didn't really think... I don't know if he were like not saying he didn't deserve to win because he definitely deserved to win um, at uh, Baku uh, last week. But the one at uh, Hungary, I was like, oh, it sort of it sort of felt like he was given a, a team order that sort of pushed him into winning, which is a bit odd. I uh, yeah yeah, it's a shame he had the accent, but I think he's I think he is better, but I think he's also just avoiding the, the public limelight. So many sports people. So many sports people are like actually like you know there's a lot of like real tragic accidents. I know it's sort of what well, I was gonna say it comes with the territory. It doesn't come with their territory like specifically with how this one was. Uh, Colin McRae, Kobe. There's a lot of like interesting ones. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Uh, hopefully Mick Schumacher uh, keeps doing some more that stuff. So. By the way, dropping off that one ledge uh, gets you to this one. I believe you gotta go down. <sighs> Hate it. We can recover. We can recover. So there's this like little bit down here, but I'm pretty sure you can backflip. Nope. Nope, I think I gotta climb back up. Ugh. Ugh. I got that. Um, but it's certainly been a bit of a while, uh, you know, a lot more of a roller coaster year. I think the momentum is there for McLaren. I don't think there's really anything... Like, when it gets late in the year, 
there's not as much like development on the cars. I sort of just leave it for next year. And um, McLaren, you know, like what on earth happened? Because they were nowhere 18 months ago, like actually like last. And now they're like consistently the best car. Sometimes Ferrari's got it. Sometimes Red Bull might have it. Yeah, yeah, he's still alive, so that's all. I, I, I'd say that's all good, and and I think Mick said that, like, you know, he's doing well, so... I'll even be, um... I, th I think there was something, and, and the, sad, the sad part of, uh, like, this season is that, uh, you know, who's, who's leaving it? Uh, we had, um... Potentially, this may have been Daniel Ricciardo's last race at Singapore, and it wasn't a very spectacular one, but they they gave him the glory of the, the last, you know, like, of a fastest lap. <laughs> sort of meaningless fastest lap, but oh my gosh. I was having a great run earlier, and now it's like, it's all crumbling down, it's all crumbling down. I mean, that's a lot of time in, in hospital as well. The fastest lap was meaningless as he first climbed up there. Yeah, but... Uh, but I don't think he's, like... You know, I don't think he's, like, vegetative. Because you don't, you don't say vegetative and... Somehow your family says you've been fine for ten years, you know what I mean? Like, I think he's alright, but he's probably just, you know... Slowed down. That's usually what happens after a massive incident. Oh, yeah, 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 he's definitely conscious. But I don't know, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think I gain anything by speculating over it, so... Um, yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, Danny Rick, his last race, uh, I, I feel like, uh, yeah, especially when anyone you know, has a great career. It may end in a bit of, you know, in tragedy or just like mediocrity, but I think the, you know, the, uh, they'll always be remembered for their bests. Danny Rick will always be remembered for being, you know, third in one of his years, like a proper, you know, race winner, contender, that kind of angle. Even if he's had years of just slump. <laughs> years of real nothing going on. Um, yeah, this one is like kind of tricky to gauge the platform because it's, I guess it's on the other side of this uh, sand fall. Is it the same thing again? It might actually be, yeah. What am I doing with my DSP impression? Ugh, stop it. The other two secrets are along the, the trough here. April 2023. <laughs> Generated using AI. Why do you need to generate with AI? Just lie, bro. <laughs> the French always remember the fierce war. Bring it up. <laughs> Get on the volume. French will always be remembered for um, <laughs> making UTC the weird acronym that it is. Darn you, French. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> nah. Um, I'd say it's been a pretty alright year, other than like some boring races from time to time. I had to use AI because that's what a stupid, a stupid person had the idea in the first place thought. I mean, this. I will say one. We had the recent iPhone like update, and I don't use an iPhone, but like the people who I know who use an iPhone switch are like, hey, like this. Not saying it's a game changer, but it's like, hey, finally, someone has used AI in the places that it makes the most sense, which is summarizing English, because most AIs are language models right now. Not most. I don't want to say most, but like a lot. A lot. 
That's a, this has been a very sad star for me. I, that's been very, very sad. That was a very tragic one. At least you start in the pyramid, by the way. Same thing with the volcano. If you die, you start right back in the section. So, and given that all the platforms are just in a row there anyways, I need to climb up to the top. Right? Did I really lose anything? My time. That's what I lost. Check out the shortcut right here. Badly prompted AI will certainly give you bad answers, but uh, AI, AI somewhat is a bit of a, a scapegoat in a lot of cases, I feel. Um, now granted, I feel the grunts of it at work. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like the idea is that they prompted the AI using past interviews. A, that's, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, I, I enjoy making the, the viewers suffer, but I'm also a part of it, it's like... Uh, sorry, sorry. The viewers don't suffer, I suffer. The viewers enjoy me suffering. But, uh... But, uh... Part of me is also like, yeah, but look, I don't want to suffer. I just want to get it done. That's why most of the games I play, like, aren't blind. Um, but I am teasing doing, um, Mirror's Edge 2 blind. Uh, when the time comes. Oh my goodness, wow. I managed to hit one of the secrets as well. Betty, you can't tell me not to fall, and then I fall. Yeah, like, you... <sighs> there's a lot of silly ideas with AI, um, and there's certainly a lot of just, like... Like, <laughs> we got we got the fun bits of, at work where it's like, this is not confidential at all, but uh, it's just like... <laughs> um, Managers always go like, oh, you know, can we use AI to automate stuff? And legit, I think they have a hard incentive that they work to, like, really, really want to, like, um, you know, get, like, find interesting AI, like, use cases. And I'm just like, man, you know, like, the one thing I'd want to replace with AI is just, like, busy work. But, like, my work isn't busy work. We, we have a lot of, like, important engineering decisions to make because someone has to poke into it and if you don't build it the right way, even if it works, you've just created an absolute world of hurt for whoever is next to like observe and uh, correct your system. Uh, so I, I keep I keep going, hey, you know, work, please don't please don't jump onto you know not replacing me with AI, but just like adding AI into places that don't make sense. It makes sense when there's language involved. When they're language models. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now there are cool things. There's 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 definitely there's image models, there's uh, video models now. There's a really, really good video model now. Um, yeah, yeah. Management thinks that well, f first of all, management thinks that AI is actually AI, but really, no, it is, you know, <laughs> regressive learning using neural networks, machine learning, basically. That's the, that's, that's really what people have, like, really figured out, and it's not, like, artificial intelligence as a whole is not just that. I think one thing that really threw people off um, because we had a few, like, AI models before, sorry, or machine learning models and things like that for quite a while. Um, but the, tur the Turing test is, um, the idea that you can make something into a human. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is a human. Um, or, or, or even, uh, indiscernible from a human. Um, company, that, about that company is AI for the customer support. Um, yeah, I rickroll the customers. There's a, um, uh, I, I, I'm on the uh, Aussie Broadband ISP, and, uh, they're pretty good, and they've got, like, great support channels, and they launched a, um, like, a sister service that's cheaper, but you do not get any real humans. You have to use the AI for assistance. Um, this is Die Die Docs, by the way, which is another water level. Uh, this is the only time that something happens not tied to a star, by the way. The DDD, the Triple D. Uh, when you so this level is fairly straightforward. It's kind of like Jolly Roger Bay, where you've got a tunnel that connects two sections, but the, the sections are a lot smaller. And it's also this like fairly long kind of swim to just like get to the other side. 
but only right now. Also, the frame rate is absolutely horrendous while the submarine's here. Some people who play on emulators do not get the slowdown, but trust me, it, it, it's there. It's there on real hardware as well. Um, this sub is only here right now. The moment you pick up this first star, it's gone. Uh, it's not really a deal breaker for anything in particular. Um, like, it's a real straightforward star, and there's nothing on the submarine other than the star itself. But just a note, uh, there is one retro achievement for getting the eight red coins right now. Yeah, that, there's the red the red coins. Uh, once you get that star, this wall moves back. Um, so you saw me do the MIP skip at the end of the last stream. You had to get that star in order to push that wall back so that you can get in here. Um, but there does exist a backwards long jump that uh, you can pull off. I'm not good enough, though. And yes, it's the one missable achievement. So, uh, chests in the current. Here's the chest. We've got cheap cheeps in this game. Did you realize that? There's cheap cheeps in this game. Uh, so the question is, which chest is the right one? Because it's, it's zappy electric chests. Yet again. I want to say that one's probably the last one. This is a, a sucky one, by the way. If you remember, uh, Jolly Roger Bay had a... Had one that blows. Okay, well... Today is not my lucky day. Is it four or five chests? Hi. There you go. Okay. I love looking at the major 3D Mario games and how they evolve. Oh yeah, exactly. They've all changed quite a fair bit. But there's a lot of core to Mario 64. I believe that is not... That's not the, the third chest. Not that one. Oh yeah, exactly. But even then, I mean, when you think about it, there are parts of this game that, you know, that's why this stands out. Like, the seaweed. It's really optional. It, you really didn't need the seaweed. The fish? You really didn't need that in order to make the level. And there's so many other games that forgot about our... We might be- we might be goners. We're goners. <laughs> oh yeah, especially. I love that, like, this is just, like... The most, like... Actually, is this... Oh, I think it actually does wobble in 3D space. Oh, it does. It's like the easiest effect once you know about height maps. <laughs> They're all on the Switch, except for Luigi's Mansion 1, which is on the 3DS. Actually, did, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it is now? Oh, yeah, true, it is now, yeah. Dude, that period of, like, games just being on the 3DS. You know, like, Donkey Kong Country Returns for the longest time. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is going on there, guys? I was like, I like the 3DS, but did it deserve to get, like, so many games and not the Switch? Alright, don't get sucked in this time. We're not getting sucked in. Uh, but yeah. Nah, I, I like I like my AI stuff, but I also am like, man, a lot of people, it's it's so overused now. It's, it, well, not even now. It was so overused, like, weeks after ChatGPT became a thing. Like, and now people think that, oh, well, if I just add AI into things, I can become, like, rich like OpenAI. And it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much more to it, guys. You can't just throw technology into your company and just call it a day. What do we, what do we use AI for? It's like, no, man. You got a core business product. Keep your core business product. Oh my gosh. <laughs> don't squander that. I don't know. Let's not forget, uh, Nintendo hates Mario 64. Oh, hates money in Mario 64 were available. Yeah, I, I don't know what's up with that limited time thing. I, I think they hate Mario Galaxy 2. It was on the Wii U. Uh, so what are we doing now? We're doing pole jumping for the red coins. Yeah, you need brand identity and you need your core product. And I think that, one, lots of core products still make profits. It's not, it's not completely unheard of to just suddenly be like, oh, you know, like, 
you know, the core product doesn't make money, but it's all identity. Like, YouTube, even though it's argued that it is a loss leader, it's also like, yeah, like, YouTube does make money. Maybe not a profit, I don't, <laughs> don't necessarily know if it's a profit. But YouTube brings in money. People would not be searching on Google as much if YouTube didn't exist. I love these boxes, by the way. So once you're up here, uh, the eight red coins are just chilling up here. Where's the poles? Where's the poles at? Oh, the sub's still here because I haven't been Bowser. <laughs> well, let's get another star while we're at it. Whoops. I thought the I thought the sub went away after the star, not the, not after the Bowser fight. All right, well, you're not entirely stuffed. Technically possible. Uh, that's an invisible cap. We don't want an invisible cap. We want the metal cap. Uh, so you saw those rings. Uh, just like the other level. Oh my gosh, this is a little drop. Yeah, I, I, I thought, I thought it was bound to. Oh, sorry, not. When I said, when I meant bound to stars, I meant, um, well, that's a bit interesting. I guess I just swam down into it. Um, when I meant bound to stars, as in, like, you can't just pick star number one and the submarine appears again. I'm like, you know, Bobomb Battlefield, where, like, King Bobomb is there on the first star every time. Yeah, the frame rate is having its moment here. Also, you kind of get pushed out of this, which is what really throws me off here. Hold on. We need to be a Mario cam for this. There we go. Just swim down, swim into it. It's all good. I'm talking about releases like Luigi's Mansion 2. There you go. Now you need the medal. Age of Mythology Retold. I, I, I've got made to play at it. I've not been an RTS guy, so my knowledge of Age of Mythology is very, very minimal. Can we get this? Without the metal. Oh, that's pushing me wide. I think he can do it, though. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, so close. Alright, we'll do the metal. <laughs> we'll do the metal. Um, extended edition, basically HD. Decent amount of time at all. It came out 10 years later. I hear this one's good, though. I hear this one's quite good. There we go. Did what I never did as a kid and properly finished the campaign cheatless. Oh, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I always love that as well, where it's like, as an adult, even if you haven't played like a ton of other games like that, you just come back and, and it's just, things make so much more sense as an adult. I don't know what's up with it. Like me, I can tell you, I'm just way better at Guitar Hero as an adult. Let's do the Bowser level. <laughs> then we can get Star 69 and Bowser in the Lava Sea. Lava Sea, Fire Sea. This one is a very, very two-dimensional level. I mean, here am I doing 3D, but you know what I mean, where it's like... The walkways do not come out at the camera anywhere near as much. This is very much a, a straight line kind of level. There's something kind of charming about that as well. Um, and just like the other Bowser level as well, eight red coins to grab. Uh, because of the Pathfinder, I didn't feel as annoyed with the HD. Retold as like Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Uh, which Definitive Edition? The 2013 one or the... Yeah, they're kind of like Galaxy levels. Shout out to Galaxy just using this music as well. Uh, this platform tilts from side to side. Also that one red coin that's right there. And there's one up here as well. But yeah, you gotta like step on this platform, step off. Take a dive. Or <laughs> rip that bully. Uh, the 2021. I've got the 2013 one, and I'm like, oh, there's another one. But I, I need to, I need to really, like, commit to 
playing and beating some uh, RTSs because I'm terrible. I'm really terrible at that. But I do enjoy Creeper World. So I'm like, I gotta, uh, which is more like a tower defense. I love my tower defenses. But the RTSs, I'm like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I think it's just an interesting, like, it's just like a, like, I, I'm afraid of spending way too much time learning stuff. I kind of want to just like get in and get it. Creeper, Creeper World's incredible, so. I, I, I sat down, I had one sitting playing Creeper World 4, and I played like um, a mod level, a scripted level, and it was like an FPS level, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's an, an incredible application of the same game mechanics. I played Particle Fleet as well, yeah. I thought that one was alright, but I remember kind of beating every level the same way. Ah, oh, I, I was going to be so pro just then. That was that was a real smooth move. My proudest achievement on Steam, longest time, was the top community post. Ooh, top community post. I don't have that amazing community post. I have one for Pajama Sam 3 that I hope is still there. Someone can, can verify if that if that uh, post is still there. I think that should have been the last... Yeah, that should have been the last coin, so... I missed one somewhere. Somehow. Which one did I miss? Which one did I... Oh, right there. There's lots of uh, recovery hearts in this level as well, so it's not the worst, actually. Uh, Pajama Sam is, um... I think, uh... I think it works on DOS. The Steam versions run in a uh, Scum VM, so... It's probably some kind of emulation to it. Uh, the only bad MK I got attention. Ah, yeah. I think it's been like actually like four years since I played Particle Fleet, so I, I honestly can't remember a ton about it, unfortunately. Dive into the spring? And uh, now we fight Bowser again. It's almost like the first fight. Give me my stars. Uh, Bowser does this now. It's, it's a little iffy, but uh, he's got plenty of platform. It's fine. And uh, he's got some other moves as well, if you let him do that, for example. I would like to grab the tail, but he's sort of hard fixed on me right now. Hi, I would really like to grab the tail. I'd really like to grab the tail. There we go. And he's right next to the explosion. Explosion. There you go. Eight years ago. He didn't like that though. You have to come to the top of the tower! Now for reference, Bowser's available at 70 stars, so uh... And there does exist a freebie castle secret star, so... So long again, Bowser! Remember that one version of the game where he doesn't say that? What they took from us. Yes, yes, the amount of stars will be short-lived because we're gonna do the pole jumping now. Pole jumping on 69 stars. That's how it's done. But unfortunately, we won't have Bowser's massive sub. AOM Retold is the gold standard for remakes. I think there's lots of very, very good remakes. I'm a very big fan of uh, a lot of the, the the Samuel Villarreal Kex Engine remakes. Um, so I, I've already played uh, Turok and Quake 2 and Quake 1 and uh, Shadow Man. I played four of those on stream already. What? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, those ones are good. Still yet to play um, Power Slave. I'll get around to that one. I actually haven't played the, um, the remastered version of Power Slave. Uh... Still hear me not reply. It's all good, my man. It's all good. Um, but yeah, no, I'm trying to think. There's some other like good remakes that are out there, and obviously as well, it's like you know we've got the whole remakes, re ports, whatever discussion. Uh, it's time to badmouth them. 
Oh no! I proceed to use the worst camera angle to try and gauge that jump. Uh, like Resident Evil or Final Fantasy 7 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always think that's a good place for like any kind of remake. I know some people are always going to have their opinions on whether they like the original more than a, a remake, but um, a you know like for the for the most part they don't replace the originals. I say for the most part because uh, these days they do, especially when they stop selling the original versions. Age of Empires isn't one of them. They still sell the 2013 version. You can actively buy that one. Um, and I wish more games would do that, especially when your old versions still work. Uh, so I like how there does exist a blue coin box there. Uh, I should probably be doing the blue coins as well, shouldn't I? Or, or the hundred coins on this one. <laughs> I realize I'm like going straight for the red coins again. So Bowser's sub star is still there, but it's uh, not a very convenient spot. Whoops. That was an incredibly delayed. How about let's get some other coins while I'm at it. Now you gotta be a little careful because uh, with Bowser's sub gone, that vent is open and if you swim anywhere near it, you get sucked in. Super Mario 64 DS replaces the original. I Somewhat. Somewhat it does. Um, for reference, Die Die Docks I believe only has 109 coins total. It doesn't have any enemies, so you can't really lose any other than those blue coins. Which might be a deal breaker if I actually botch that up. Maybe I should go back for the blue coin. But, uh... But yeah, I mean, given that it is the smallest level... Yeah, it, 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 like, being the smallest level, so yeah. DDD doesn't have any enemies. Oh yeah! I mean, it's got this thing. But yeah, no, like, because there's no ground for anything. You know, it's not like Mario really attacks enemies in the water. I think maybe they probably... I, I, whoops. I think maybe in development they uh, wanted to put bloopers in the game, but I think they ended up just skipping them. And yeah, you had the cheap cheese for this. Like, yeah, the, the cheap cheese really do much? Not really. I guess that's a, a, a tough lesson that they probably learned uh, mid-development was uh, how much of existing Mario works and how much do you have to start from scratch? And the answer was probably most of it you had to sort of reinvent. Like, yeah, you can jump. But then it's like, well, you probably want to punch because jumping onto things in 3D is not as straightforward. Like, here we are doing some stuff where it's like, you got to do some camera trickery to get this to work. Oops. Cut. All right, we'll, we'll get we'll get back there. We'll get back there. So many 3D platformers had like grabbing onto poles after this game. Easy blue coins, but you gotta get them. You gotta get those. Uh, wall jumping as well, which. Again, yeah, it's, it's existed before Mario 64, but it's like, man, you know, so many of them have to do it now. And that's the power that this game really has. Uh, I started playing through Gex 3 just uh, earlier today as well, and it's like, yep, that is, you know, that is a true testament to exactly how much Mario 64 had influence over people. Gex and Rayman 2. Both... Well, I, I think Gex 1 is kind of like... People at the time and even in hindsight probably go, Yeah, it's, it's okay, I have a game. Um, but people really like the, the, the collect-a-thon style of gameplay that Gex 2 and 3 had. Uh, Rayman, similar boat, I think. Although, I think people are a lot more... Um, you know, they love the the first Rayman a bit more than the uh, Gex one. But Rayman 2 is a GOAT game. And partially, I think, its success is due to how, you know, really good collectathons can be. Oh, yeah, 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 Rayman. Rayman 1 is, is tricky, tricky picky. Uh, 
I dare not mention Rayman Brain Games. I dare not mention the, uh, absolute, like, joy that is, um, yeah. That game's meant for kids! What are, <laughs> what are they doing? What are the insane people over at Ubisoft? I tell ya. And there's the star. Sort of, it's a little bit easy to accidentally get that, um, if you didn't get the blue coins already. But, uh, we'll go back. Yeah, Rayman 1, Infinite Continuous, it's okay, but Brain Games is like, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that... Can you use the cheat in the Retro Achievement set? I haven't played uh, the original Rayman on Retro Achievement, so I, I don't know what's up with that. The set requires to beat the game with one continue. Oh. Oh. I hope... I... <laughs> no one has complained about whether I've done... Because... Not complained, but like, when I did uh, the set for, um, Lead Storm Rally, I, I sort of went like, hey, you know, if I'm playing the set, uh, <laughs> sort of want a quick, quick perusal around this game. And so I didn't even make any of the achievements, like, walled off for using continues. Except, obviously, you can't get, like, a massive score if you've used a continue. Yeah, that's fair. There's some other games as well where it's like... Whoever's on the retro achievement set, there's one hard achievement for basically, like, beat the game in a certain, like, kind of manner. Um, I'm a bit sadistic, I've done some of them. Like, I've done the one for, like, Croc 2, which is, like, beat the whole game in one sitting. In hindsight, I kind of think about that, and I'm like, yeah. Is that really, like, in the spirit of the game? I don't know. Rayman Continualist is sadistic. Oh. Alright, these are the... These are the real tricky coins right here. Maybe I should have done these first. All good. Well, not all good, because I'm still at 88 coins, and there's eight there. So I'm thinking to myself, if there were 109, where am I missing them? What if I told you there's a Kaizo hack? Who, who's done the Kaizo hack for Rayman? Who did that? This shark as well. Uh, don't suppose the coins are higher up. Hey, there's some. Hey, uh, modding in the infinite lives is nice. There we go, no more 69 lives or stars. You found 70 power stars, the mystery of the endless stairs is solved, thanks to you. And as Bowser ever upset, now on to the final bout. Yeah, that's... <laughs> we don't even know about the final stairs, there's like three staircases in the way. Anyway, let's get this red coin star. It's on RA database, hopefully someone... Hey, hopefully someone does. I don't know if I'd be one to play it, but... I will say the Gran Turismo 3 set is kicking my butt. There's a couple of challenge achievements that are just like, wow, okay. Um, I'll get there, but a lot of people got there before me, and I, I, I think their perseverance is a lot better than me. GT3 Kaizo win. I wouldn't mind a subset for, like, um, GT3 with, like, no upgrades. I would, actually, I would mind, because I suck at GT3. But, like, so many of the, um, the races are like, yeah, if you do not have upgrades, like, what? How? <laughs> there we go, now we just gotta get over there, and then we're all set. That's another world with 100 coins done. I'm gonna miss this music, I tell ya. Here we go! We did indeed do some pole jumping for some red coins. Not done with this world just yet. 
We got the Manta Ray's reward. That's right. Which Manta Ray? That Manta Ray. As he swims, he makes rings. That's right, Mario... <laughs> Superman 64 had uh, more inspiration from Mario than just the, uh, the claustrophobic levels. Except I do hate swimming through these in order because the rings do die very quick. The punishment is you gotta just start again. Hi, yes, there we go. Okay, yep. Okay. You get there eventually, but it does feel weird. Yeah, like I've swam right past him because it's like some. Yeah, it's somewhere behind him. I think. I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay, I will get there. I'm really struggling. Yeah, wow. Part of it is like I'm realizing I'm past the ring by the time I like try to swim through it. Is it the ring or the manta ray? Yeah, that mod is called Super Mario 64 DS. Oh my gosh, wow. It's the shark from Galaxy 1. Yeah, like... Yeah, okay. I don't know why I'm struggling with my depth perception so much on this one. First try, first try, first try. And that's right, they want you to almost kill yourself in trying to get the star. It's not too bad. It's <laughs> Easy first try. Easy. Easy. There we go. So one more star, and then we're done with the basement. The basement of Mario 64 is almost done. Collect the caps. They say in trying to describe that, like... It's, a different, it's different to the other cap star. I'm gonna miss this tunnel. Bring me the cap scratch. That's, that's not a good. That's not a good Neo Cortex uh, impression of mine. One day I'll play a Crash Bandicoot game on stream. One day. I still got more Spyros to go through. Dude, I just realized as well, like, on the topic of blind playthroughs, it's like, 100% by the way, I'm doing Enter the Dragonfly next year. Um, and I've played a Hero's Tale. I haven't played any other of the newer Spyro games. And by newer, I mean, for a, for a brief period of time, newer. So maybe they're okay. There we go, that's, that's, uh, Dire Dire Docks done. There you go, 4Ds. Legend of Spyro, yeah. I'm not too sure how good they'd be, but uh... Curiosities, because I seem to play a lot of the rest, but not that one, so... With Bowser in the Fire Sea defeated, we now have the final key, which unlocks the final six worlds. Uh, speedrunning strat, you jump here. Because for some reason you can grab the back of the staircase. It's, it's just a, a spiral staircase. It really doesn't mean that much. But it saves time. Uh, now, watch out. That's a painting. You can even walk into it. But that's not World 10. World 10's over over here. You've got toads all around, by the way. Thanks, Mario. The castle is retrieving stars. Are you collecting special coins? Special stars appear when you collect 100 coins in each of the 15 courses. Thank you, Toad, for saying that. Imagine getting to this point and you're like, ugh, I gotta go back. Yeah. Um, I like this room, uh, because you got the little extra Mario and the Lakitu, which is faithfully modeled. It's such a cool feeling. Um, you're meant to notice that there's a painting of a snowman over there on the mirror side, but not on the real side. Go into the real side and, uh, boom! Course 10, snowman's big head, snowman's land. It's a land with a snowman. We gotta have another snow level. Running around in circles makes some bad guys roll their eyes. There are no snow levels. Yeah, there's no snow levels in Mario 64. 
Uh, Snowman's big head is the top of that one. We can actually shortcut a little bit by jumping off one of these things. No, we can't. Never mind. I believe it's possible, but we'll go up a long way. This one's uh, effectively you got a bit of a um, an anti-clockwise kind of direction you can run around the level, and then eventually you climb up on the on the um, snowman. So, uh, but it's not too big a level. It's actually quite small. These flower things are going to help you. This is cool, cool water. It's like the the frozen goop. I don't know what's with the shy guy masks on the wall here. Snowman painting does not work. Yeah. The ledge is very precarious for some reason. I don't know why. And then you get up here, and uh, we don't have the sequence yet. So make sure you zoom out the camera. If you go near the snowman's face... Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snow flea? Whatever it is, it's bugging me. I think I'll blow it away. And uh, he will he will blow. So if you are not <laughs> standing next to this big penguin, uh, good luck. And the, pe the penguin baits you as well. Did you like that? Oh, look, I can lose my hand in this level. The penguin baits you. He's like, oh, today I'll walk backwards. Can penguins even walk? Oh, they probably can. Can penguins even fly? I found out today that penguins are very, 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 very endangered or threatened species most of the time. So, uh... Shout out to, uh... To other penguin preservationists, or is it kind of like... Hi, I would like to swim out of here. Um, or is it kind of like, well, if you're in Antarctica, you're basically a penguin preservationist. I always find this, like, really interesting that, um, penguins are, like, or really, like, all wildlife on in Antarctica, because it's like, you've got various deserts where it's just, like, there is not much life out there. It's, like, little microbes that can actually, like, burrow into the ground. And then it's like, here's Antarctica, it's like you've got, you know, penguins, you've got seals, you've got, like, whales, and, uh, not quite dolphins, I don't think they'd go down there. Okay, hold on, he's gonna back up a little bit, and then he's gonna... He's gonna go! There you go. Uh, I don't know why the snowman has a... Well, we're at the... No, oh, I know, I'll save the igloo for, um... For the hundred coins. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's... It's a Mario 64 thing. It's a Mario 64 thing. Mario 64 is a game where you will struggle. There is always gonna be struggles in Mario 64. But the punishment is never that bad. I think... Well, I say never that bad, but it's like, you know, sometimes you can die. And sometimes you've been wasting your time doing a hundred coins. This is the day your life will surely change. I mean, the thing, though, is that when, like, I... Woo! Woo! Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> man, I'm talking too soon, man. I tell ya. Um, but the thing with Mario 64 is that, uh... Like... Oh, sorry, not even Mario 64. You can stand on top of the pink. You can stand on top of the pink. I'm not good at it, though. But I know you can. Um... But, like, I, I feel like I'm doing alright because, like, last stream was just over two hours. Uh, we're nearing the two hour mark on this one. But we've also only got, like, seven stars left of the stream because I'm gonna call it after. after, uh. these seven. I'll just blame the ice. Ah. <laughs> I would be very surprised if I could do it today. But then, like, when you think about it, it's like... And, and, and that's that's the part I feel, like, very, like, happy with, with lots of my playthroughs, is that, like... Most of them, I'm hopefully not taking, like, too long to, to play through a game. Like, six hours to me feels like a very, very, like, 
not ordinary amount of time. Maybe like a little bit longer if you count the extra minutes. Okay, I'm I'm going a little more conservatively around there. Um, but I'll probably you know it won't be seven hours total for the whole like this last stream and the next stream because 100 you know you know that you know that there's only going to be so much in the game after uh after this world they've only got five more worlds left chill with the bully that's right Can't, it's not a it's not an ice level without a ice variant of another monster in, this, in which case the chief chili he that was a self-inflicted like that was that was very very sad uh, it's a lot easier than the other bully levels, the other bully stars, except there <laughs> were Lara Croft streams last year. I I do feel a little odd because I don't have a Tomb Raider queued up for this year. I don't remember Tomb Raider 4 anywhere near as much as the other three. Uh, in the Deep Freeze, I believe that's this one. Like, it's right here, it's just, you gotta navigate a, a bit of a maze. I think the uh, entry point is on the top, or it's like here, or something. There we go. Hundred times on the top. He is in my, uh, Mario Kart DS as well. I love how many Mario 64 bosses are in Mario Kart DS. Okay, I'm grabbing onto something there, but I don't recall having like... What am I doing wrong here? Okay. Wall. I can see that you gotta go up and over. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Mario 3D World moment right here. There you go. There you go. I mean, there's not that many blocks. You, you get there eventually. In the deep freeze. There's not that many places for stars in this world as well. Because, like, when you think about it, it's like, okay, well, that's three of them. Well, from the freezing pond is, uh... One of the most hilarious ones I, I know of. In the deep fried. I like how the uh, the water under the uh, the bully, by the way, is um, actually lava. Technically, it acts the same as lava. So you got to use that thing to bounce up, and that's the star right here. There's m a little more to this ledge for the red coins in a in a future star, but it's like oh, no, just breeze through it. Uh, I get it. I'm saying it's not that many blocks you'll get eventually. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I always say when you're in uh, the Saffron City gym. Always just go up or down from the teleporter that you're at. True, true, you do need flash. Uh, shell shredding for red coin. We might as well do the, the igloo one. Um, so, this is not the eye, but he does die like the eye, which is he falls over. There's quite a bunch of coins on this level, so don't sweat about missing some. Uh, but you do have to watch out for these guys. I think the trick I find is ground pound them. Just say so. Also, hi there, fly guy. There you go. Invisible maze in the poison arena. Yeah, yeah, that one's kind of annoying. That's like the most Game Boy kind of level design out there. It's just like, ah, yes, one sprite difference. One pixel on the sprite. Ah, uh, there is a pink bomb somewhere. Uh, watch out as well because that's not a coin, and I hit him anyways. He spits out lots of coins. I think I missed one more coin as well, but let's see if we can rush and get it. Rush and get it. Oh, that went ages away. Yeah, okay. We can see lots of freebie coins up here. I say freebie coins, it's like, no, oh, man, you're working for all your coins. <laughs> uh, yeah, other than that, I haven't exactly played anything brand new. Uh, I did play one, do some more coin, but, oh, I don't know how to pull off the coin bag manipulation, but, uh, if I could, then I would show it off. I got there's a breeze there as well. Uh, this, 
There's gotta be another coin bag somewhere as well. Um, but uh, I did play one game over the past uh, week, which was a Sega CD or Mega CD game called uh, Mansion of the Hidden Souls. Note that red coin there, by the way. And that red coin there. There's actually a few red coins that you have to skate over the... The, um... The lava... Ice water? It's too cold. Oh, there he is. May have heard of it. It's a... Yeah, it's a full motion video. Um, I'd call it a point and click adventure game, but it's more, uh... Um, a walk forward and bump into walls adventure game. Um, you play as a dude whose sister wanders into a mansion. And then you go into the mansion and then a bunch of butterflies tell you that uh, isn't it wonderful to be turned into a butterfly. You then proceed to find out that there's an evil villain whose plot is to turn you into a butterfly. You then leave the mansion and uh, the game ends. It's a very straightforward point-and-click adventure game. Uh, there's a couple of coins up here as well, so I recommend just walking up here. Uh, can you walk up here? Maybe not. Pretty sure you can. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure there's an enemy up the far end. There you go. It's a lot easier to deal with them without having to get the shelf later. Yeah, yeah, no, but you need to bounce up here. This is actually, this one is one of the most painful ones to get the, uh, <laughs> the, the old coins retro achievements. It's possible. I've completely forgotten how you, oops. I've completely forgotten how you do the jump up here. Actually, is it possible? I think it's, I think you got a cannon up here. So, yeah, uh... But I'm gonna do it normally by bouncing well, air quotes normally. Uh, so if you bonk that, you get the Cooper shell, and you need the Cooper shell in order to get the red coins. So slide down this ledge, release the stick, just take it slow, no need to rush, and you get those two coins. If you don't have the shell, you can't get these at all. Uh, let's. Head up the, into the igloo and try and get some extra coins as well. If you head around up here, you'll get a bunch of coins. And there's a lot more coins in the igloo. There really shouldn't have been as many videos about getting RA achievements. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a lot of really like good ones as well. I even did a... there's, a, there's an unlisted one I have, uh, which I put in a um, connection to a San Andreas achievement, the one of, of getting 60 points on the basketball uh, minigame, because uh, I got 59. <laughs> I botched up the last shot, and I was like, nice, nice. It's unlisted. It's, you, got, you gotta go to the achievement to, to see it. I got, I got it fairly shortly afterwards, but like that thread does get a lot of people saying this is the hardest achievement in the whole set. I didn't find it the absolute worst, but I completely get why people find it very tough. Um, I love the bombs in here as well. It's a bit of a curious kind of layout as well. Because um, you got some enemies, you know, dancing around here. Um, and then you got your invisibility. Which lets you walk through walls, which is important for grabbing coins. Maybe the one up talking to the babom who activates the cannons, which you won't see, but they're there. And you got all these coins here. Oh, oh. That's a little bit of a doozy. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, uh, that should be poking out a little bit. It's not the end of the world, and if it is, then whoops. <laughs> uh, and yes, there's that start in the igloo, but I'll walk out. You can walk out of this igloo and get the red coins again. Or the red coin uh, star. Yeah, okay. Okay, phew. <laughs> it's cutting a little fine there. That's okay. Uh, so let's go out of the igloo. I love how, like, it's so tiny on the outside. 
and slide down here, and our red coin star is there. One more star, which is the igloo one, and we're done with the stream, so... I'm actually surprised how few, like, castle stars were in the, um... Oh, I will get the eagle star. I know, I know. It, two hours flies by. That's, I, I mean, I feel like a part of me is like, ah, uh, you know, like people who actually like stream full time on, on Twitch and stuff like that. It's like they stream for hours. Like, I think the requirement is that you have to stream for 20 or 25 hours a week. And it's like, when you think about it, it's like, man, that's a lot of time to be like sitting and talking. I come up with a bunch of topics and I feel like that's all right for one week. Of like topics uh and I, I obviously have like a few things to say but it's like i do not have like enough like fortitude to you know do too much longer nice and there is no fire flower no stream developing a set maybe but uh oh my gosh um my problem is that then uh, I I'm, I'm very I'm I'm rather procrastinating, but I'm also like uh there you go <laughs> um but also like it's a bit of just like poking around uh the stream consistently for the past two and a half years yeah I, I mean like yeah two hours is on the shorter side i feel and especially i guess like right now because it's like they actually are two hours sometimes you know like <laughs> the metroid prime <laughs> the classic four hour metroid prime stream um but yeah like for me it's like like i wake up at like 6 a.m so for me it's like well it's 10 41 that's already like you know i'm losing oh where's the star gun it's not up here there it is um yeah, because I also feel like, well, you get a lot of stuff done in the game. Hey, you can, you can send me messages anywhere. I've got YouTube comments. I've got, like, uh... I'm pretty sure you can send messages in Twitch as well, as well. And I'm on the Fetty as well, so... Uh, but yeah, no, I think that's that's a good place to call it for the game. That's all of Snowman's Land. We've done Die, Die, Dark, Shifting Sand Land, Lethal Lava Land, and Hazy Maze Cave, along with all seven stars. And I, I'm trying to think, do we... We started the stream at 43 stars, which meant I had to have gotten only two castle stars. Uh, one would have been the, um, the metal cap one. I'm trying to think, what was the other one? Uh, the Bowser one. That's it. That's all it is. Not, uh, not the Fetty, the Fetty, like the Fediverse. Um, so if Mastodon or Pleroma or any kind of other activity pub-based service, uh, you can find me there. Um, or I'll say some things from time to time. Uh, like how I had to do my, uh, <laughs> like how I had to do my, uh, my YouTube tax statement, and half of the application was in Thai. I don't know what was up with that. Hold on, this toad. Does this toad know more? Look in the mirrors. Hey, there you go. It's like there had to have been one extra. It was in the, um, the Bowser and the Fire Sea. That, that, uh, that one counts as a castle secret star. But we got one more, we got one more secret star, so that's okay. That's okay. Um, so we still got five more worlds to go, and they're probably the hardest world, so I expect next week. Uh, oh, the YouTube taxing. Oh, yeah, um, no, no, sorry. It, it was just, in order to get revenue from YouTube, you have to basically do a application, um, like a tax statement application, so that it connects to your tax. Uh, and if you are not a US citizen, uh, basically they assume that the US government can take 30% of your revenue. I know, it's more than- well, we ended the last stream at 43, so it's, uh, it's all over the place. Because most of the Castle Secret stars are on the base floor. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, half of the application on- from YouTube's end was in Thai. I don't know what was up with that. Um, and yes, YouTube takes 30% of the money and gives it to the US government. And then YouTube takes some more money. I don't get a lot of my money. Yeah, Thai is in the language, yeah. Uh, why Why is it in Thai? It's a US company and I'm an Australian. Like, it should all be in English. I don't know why, why I fair bit of it's in Thai, but okay. Um, but yeah, if you're a YouTube partner, by the way, uh, please remember to do that because uh, YouTube will just casually uh, take your stuff. Oh, I, I get to show off this. 
Oops, I haven't quite done it right. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Australia, it's Asia. Thailand's in it. That is true. Yeah. Um, backwards long jump. This is a vintage speedrunning strat, by the way. You just long jump. Who discovers this kind of stuff? Who discovers this? So you need 50 stars to open that door, but if you mash the A button quick enough on the stairs. Oh, not quite like that. Oh, I'll get there again. I got the backwards long jump so right, but I missed the door. Um, unfortunately, I have more than 70 stars, so I can't show it on the infinite staircase, but it's the same method. Um, yep, come on. Some people have like a rhythm to this. I literally like mash the heck out of it. Like, hold on, I don't know if you can hear my, my A button as I do this. Come on. I had it there for a moment. I want to I wanna pull this off before I end the stream. Come on. So I did the MIP skip last stream. Come on. Come on. got like three there. You don't need too many backwards long jumps to actually like get the momentum, but effectively what it does is that it just adds like a ton of speed onto Mario. Come on, come on. I had it there from <laughs> first go. We need to do this. We need to do this. This is the most important. Nope, nope, I'm going, I'm going around, I'm going around. <laughs> it's because again, I missed the door. My first 24 hour stream, exactly. I got, I'm surprised I got the MIP skip like just by like thinking about it. There you go. So, <laughs> uh, technically that skips the prompt that says you can open the door, which it works both ways. kind of funny just open the door like that but yeah no you can you can slide through it um and then yeah if you're doing <laughs> if you're doing spirit basically yeah it, it's super easy to do you just do a long jump try and move backwards and then you just mash a like really just mash it you'll get it eventually um this is the staircase at least to the end of the game but if you don't have 70 stars bowser lets you in but then the staircase goes on forever um there's a there's a trigger somewhere like a box that you basically need to like pass if you physically collide with that box it warps you back down the staircase a little bit so that's what makes it gives it that infinite feeling uh which i can't show off right now um but yeah 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 you use the same trick because it's the same staircase basically so it just boots you up quicker you skip the physical trigger of being in that spot and then uh yeah so it's such a vintage speed running trick uh like I'm very shocked that Nintendo really wants to, to patch it out. I'm like, man, that stuff's cool. That's a cool speedrunning strat. But, uh, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, with that, um, I think that's all good. We've got five more worlds for next stream next week. And then, uh, the spooky month awaits because uh, the 30th of September is the last day of September. But until then, I would like to thank you all so very much for watching. Um, if you like the stream or you didn't like the stream, that's okay. Uh, you can follow on Twitch. I think both of you are following on Twitch already, so it's all good. Uh, but yeah, no, you get alerts. Stream 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard every Monday. Uh, and by standard, I mean only next week because the week after, I think, is Daylight Savings. So uh, the clock goes forward an hour for us. So the stream is earlier by an hour. Um, if you miss part of this, uh, the VOD will be on YouTube soon, as always. And if you miss part of any stream, it's on YouTube. So, perfect show for speedrun strats. Yeah, exactly. I could actually try and do, like, a, a speedrun kind of run. It should be, like, 30 minutes I can actually do. We'll see. So, um, but yeah, no, it's been a good one. Y you guys have been great company. Um, and yeah, to people who leave random YouTube comments, I read all of them. Some of you out there, you leave comments. I see that stuff. So, feel free. Engagement challenge. Uh, I don't have an engagement challenge. Just have a good one. Have a good one. So, peace, peoples.